how do you see this green economy discourse in, in, in light of the fact that everybody is using it? I mean, you as a yeah. political scientist, could you say something about that? Well, the, the South Africans have um, uh, shared the African uh, skepticism about the green economy discourse. Which is? Uh, and the skepticism is that the green economy discourse is a, a mask for technology transfer uh, of developed world technologies into developing countries rather than a much broader fundamental restructuring of the economy. So the South African interpretation of the green economy is not the technofix approach. It's a broader structural transformation approach. Well, I mean, the, what everybody is hoping is that Rio Plus 20 is going to be an endorsement of a kind of broader definition of, the green, of what the green economy means. And it, everybody's hoping it will signal that we need a new long-term development strategy uh, that takes into account resource constraints and carbon constraints. Um, uh, there's, I, I, I don't think anything's going to happen. There is no, there's no uh, institutional or strategic leadership uh, for Rio. Uh, there isn't really even a committee of significant players to kind of set the agenda. The Brazilians haven't declared their hand on what they would like to see. So I, I, I don't think we should be too optimistic about it. The, the most significant changes are going to come about from the fact that governments and businesses are, are going to have to respond to rising resource prices. And, for example, the McKinsey has just issued a report that talks about a resource revolution, and that's just to, and, 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 and suggesting that uh, investments in resource efficiency have a 10% return on investment. Those are just indicators that there's a whole there's a realignment of market forces that n need to be led by policy uh, visionary policy positions. If if we're going to really harness those energies for, for an alternative development.